Let's see some examples which uses trigonometric identities. The first question express cos a tan a and sec a or secant a in terms of sine of a. We have to express cosine of a, tangent of a and secant of a in terms of sine a. Now let us try expressing cos a in terms of sine a. Which is the identity which contains both cos and sine? We know that sine square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. So from here cos square a can be written as 1 minus sine square a. Okay, so cos a can be written as square root of 1 minus sine square a. So we have expressed cos a in terms of sine a. Clear? Now let us try to express tan a in terms of sine a. Now what is tangent of a? Tangent of a is sine of a divided by cosine of a. We have just now expressed cos a as square root of 1 minus sin square a. So we can write tangent of a as sin a over square root of 1 minus sin square of a. This is tangent of a. And sec of a. The secant of a is the reciprocal of cos a. So I can write 1 upon cosine a for sec a. Cosine a is determined in terms of sin a as 1 minus sin square a square root. So we get sec a as 1 over square root of 1 minus sin square a. So how by using the identity sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1, we can express cos a, tangent a and secant a in terms of sin a. Let's do another example. Find or simplify nine secant square a minus nine tangent square a. We have to simplify it. Now, from both the terms, can we take out a nine common? We can do secant square a minus tangent square a. Which identity we know in terms of secant and tangent? We know that 1 plus tan square a is sec square a. Correct? If I move this tan square a to the right hand side, we will get 1 is equal to sec square a minus tan square a. So in place of this sec square a minus tan square a, I can substitute a 1 and simplify the expression to 9. Is it clear? Okay. Simplify. One plus tan square a over 1 plus cot square a. Now, 1 plus tan square a by the identity we know is equal to secant square a. And 1 plus cot square a can be written as cosec or cosecant square a. So, in place of 1 plus tan square a over 1 plus cot square a, we can write sec square a over cosec square a. Correct? Now, we know that sec of a, the so secant of a is the reciprocal of cosine a. So, sec square a can be written as 1 upon cosine square a whole upon cosec a is the reciprocal of sine a. 
So cos x square a can be written as 1 over sin square a. Am I right? Now, whenever there is a fraction in the denominator, how do we solve it? We keep the numerator as it is and the denominator, we put a multiplication sign and reciprocate the denominator. That is how we solve when there is a fraction in the denominator. So, what do we get? Sin square a over cosine square a, which can be written as sin a over cos a whole square and sin a over cos a we know is tan a so it becomes tan square a. I hope this question is clear. How did we simplify this particular trigonometric expression? Now let us do one trigonometric identity. There will be a trigonometric equation given and we have to prove the left hand side of the trigonometric equation equal to the right hand side. So, prove cos a over 1 plus sin a plus 1 plus sin a over cos a is equal to 2 times secant a. Okay. Now, whenever you solve a trigonometric identity, you can either proceed from the left hand side or proceed from the right hand side. In this case, the left hand side looks more little more complicated. So, I will prefer to solve the left hand side and bring it equal to the RHS. So, now I will try to make a common denominator. So, I multiply the first expression by cos A in the numerator and the denominator. And 1 plus sin A to the second expression in the numerator and denominator. Now, for both of them, the denominator has become a common denominator. Let us take the LCM. So, we get cos A into 1 plus sin A as our LCM. In the numerator, cos A into cos A here becomes cos square A. Okay, plus 1 plus sin A into 1 plus sin A is nothing but 1 plus sin A whole square. And we know a plus b whole square, a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. In our case, a is 1, so we will write 1 square, 1 square, b square is sin square a plus 2ab is 2 into 1 into sin a, which is 2 sin a. Now, let us combine cos square a and sin square a. Cos square A plus sin square A by our identity is 1 plus we are left with this 1 square which is 1 again plus 2 sin A whole over cos A into 1 plus sin A. Fine. 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 plus 2 sin A. Can I take a 2 common? So I am left with a 1 plus sin A whole upon cos a into 1 plus sin a. 1 plus sin a common factor gets cancelled out. So, 2 over cos a and what is the reciprocal of cos a? Secant of a. So, 2 over cos a can be written as 2 times of secant a which is our right hand side. So, we have proved left hand side equal to the right hand side and hence we have proved this trigonometric identity. So, I hope these examples are clear to you and how do we use the trigonometric identities. If you need more questions on solving the trigonometric expression or if you have any doubts, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel Math Academy. You can subscribe to my channel if you have liked my videos and you need more such videos on any math topic. Thank you.